Hello again. Observant viewers will have noticed that in the last two years the denunciation of Western European society for the legacy of the transatlantic slave trade has subtly shifted key. At first the focus was on the rich traders and public figures who were involved however slightly with slavery and the profits made from the trade. These people though were of course a tiny minority and it was thought that a way would need to be devised to make all of us feel guilty about the business. The idea was created that because in the late 18th century many British people began being able to afford sugar in their tea, and that in the 19th century the mills in the north of England required a plentiful supply of cheap cotton to keep going, this meant that the whole of Britain's lifestyle and prosperity was ultimately founded on slavery. The sugar was produced by slaves in the Caribbean and the cotton by slaves in America. In that way, we, that is to say all the descendants of those people, shared the guilt of profiting from the transatlantic slave trade. It was no longer a small number of wealthy individuals. The whole of British society was complicit and enjoyed the fruits of slavery. One would think that the sheer hypocrisy of this stance would cause those advancing the idea to die of shame, but it seems not. It is considered very bad manners to point out why people talking in this way are disgusting, but I've never shrunk from a disagreeable task of this kind. It really is very simple. Everybody in this country today using anything powered by a lithium-ion battery is exploiting children working in the mines of Central Africa under terrible and inhuman conditions at least as bad as those on any slave plantation a couple of centuries ago. Your smartphone, for example, is powered by a lithium-ion battery which is partly made of cobalt. 70% of the cobalt we use comes from the Congo, where there are huge deposits of the mineral. The conditions in those mines which are worked exclusively by black Africans, including children as young as six, are utterly shocking. The thumbnail to this video shows who is digging out the cobalt which is needed to power our mobiles. Children are sent along narrow shafts underground, too narrow for adults, and there they often have to dig with their bare hands, and with no protective clothing or anything of that sort all to dig up the metals upon which our modern technological society depends. Every electric car, for example, needs between 6 and 12 kilograms of cobalt for its battery. In the description to this video I give a few links about this, including the fact that 99% <coughs> of young people in Britain between the age of 25 and 34 owns a smartphone. Our society is more reliant upon cruelty to and mistreatment of Africans than it was at the time of the transatlantic slave trade. <coughs> Here's a tip for any angry young person hoping to make me feel guilty about my ancestors' supposed reliance upon sugar and cotton obtained by the exploitation of black Africans in the 18th century. Don't bother. If you own a smartphone, then you are exploiting real live children in Africa this very minute. <coughs> These children aren't something from a history book. They are literally dying, dying and suffering at this very moment so that you can function in today's society. My advice to anybody trying on this game of uh, attempting to guilt trip us about reparations or collective guilt or any of that foolishness is to look at their own guilt first and try and find a way to deal with that. Don't come whining to me about it, not if you own a smartphone. <coughs>